Hello, this is Roland Jung from ePlan. I just want to talk today about not only the certified system integrator program in four steps, how to get there, but actually talk about the wire prefabrication. How can I prefabricate a wire with its label, source and target, using a simple stripping tool, crimping tool, and anyone can do it in front of an office. So in this program, and, and bear with me, uh, if you want to see other videos like this, just subscribe and you'll be able to participate in every other video. So of course, in this uh, program, it's a self auditing, auditing type of program where we actually look at how you do things and we evaluate your engineering and manufacturing process. And here, what we do is we actually help you become more and more efficient. You can see here some efficiency curves, come and see more about it. And I'm gonna to explain to you very quickly, I mean, just using ePlan, you probably know for most of you that if you knew, use ePlan, you have a perfect tool to do schematics. Most of the components are in the data portal. You can just drag and drop them. And here you have the data. Now, another thing that ePlan does is device tag numbering, wire numbering, and cross-referencing, which basically means if you actually zoom in here and you check out a cross-reference like this, where it says you go to page 26, line two, this page 26, line two is always accurate, always perfect, because ePlan takes care of it. And we have different types of cross-references. We have them on components. We have them on contactors. Then also another thing that you have to be uh, careful with is the device tag. Now, all of these informations actually are gathered together to populate a bill of material. The bill of material is something that very often for most people is a struggle because you have a hard time finding all the parts that are actually here on the schematic side and also when you fabricate the panel because the panel at the end of the day is also numerous parts and accessories. Now, what we do is we summarize these parts together and we actually generate a bill of material. Here, for instance, we have a, 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 a retail uh, direct uh, order, which actually is an Excel sheet with part numbers just for retail. We can do this with everyone else too, but this is called the ePlan uh, direct order or e-kitting concept where we can spit out from our project directly the information. Another thing that is interesting too is that in ePlan, we can spit out the labels. Labels are actually just simply a print like this where you say print and bingo, it prints here the labels. Now I chose to print source and target and wire number to make it a little bit more comfortable later down the road because also if I prefabricate the wires, if I do white wires, I have to make sure that this white wire that has a specific length that was calculated from ePlan goes to the right source and target. Now, how does that work? It's basically primarily inside ePlan, inside the routing, inside your uh, package here. If you have the routing module, you can have ePlan evaluate exactly where the wires go and the length of the wire. And this can be then translated into smart wiring, which is a Microsoft Edge accessible uh, tool where you just go in here, you look at the wires and you just produce them. Here, for instance, I have a wire that has exactly 914 millimeters. Now, because I work in millimeters, I could work also in inches. It's not a problem. You know, we work in both. It's just the same length, but translated. And I now strip and crimp, you know, each end. Now, of course, here, this is where the small retail tool comes in, like a crimper. You may have them from other manufacturers the same way. And this is also here. You can see we have a wire called wire number 50. Very easy to find. And you just peel it off from the labeling and you put it around there. Now, I don't know if you can see, but in this particular case, what I did is I have printed source and target on the wire, which makes it a little bit le easier later down the road because the source and target is the information that actually was provided by ePlan and also which served us to know exactly from where to where this will actually route. Right, because you can see here in the graphics, I'm not sure if you can see that, but you can see how it's actually routing from one spot to another. And when you have this wire, in this case, prefabricated, you can just confirm it. Now, this tool is really great because it runs through all the different wires 
one by one, uh, you, you have here some filters uh, options, you have some sort options. Um, everything is there to actually help you wire up and even prefabricate the wires, you know, ahead of time. Now, what is interesting about the fact that I prefabricated the wires? Because typically, you know, you have to wait until you have the full assembly before you can evaluate, you know, the exact length of these two wires. Now, in my case, because of the digital twin, I don't have to wait until it's assembled. I don't have to wait until all the components are there to figure out exactly where to connect them. I have it done by the tool so I can prefabricate the wires. Now this reorganizes and allows me to reorganize my work in two different ways. First of all, what I just did here, strip, crimp, this is something that everyone can do. So you actually enlarge the pole of population that can actually help you. Interesting is also that the wire fabrication is probably two thirds of the whole wire landing because just to land the wires and snip it into the right section or actually to screw in the wire is not that long. So what we have figured out here is that when you really look into the manufacturing section here, what we do is we take this here, the portion which is the wire fabrication, and we start it from day one. You could even have two people because this is multi-user capable. You could have two people prefabricate the wires, which will eliminate the waiting time because most likely the panel, by the time that you're finished fabricating them, the panel will be built. So if you have two people there, you can shorten even your delivery even sooner. This is exactly the industry 1.0 that, that Ford uh, invented. Just put things in parallel. Don't do them in serial. Don't wait until the panel is assembled to actually think about the label or the wiring itself. Do it upfront when you are able to do it. So by calculating the length, the route routing upfront, we have this option. Now, another option we have is with retail in Canada, in Canada and, and, and elsewhere in the world, you have the possibility to buy crimpers or even the WT, which is a wire terminal. The WT is, is a really cool uh, thing. If I go here and I check it out, the WT terminal from retail is a wire terminal. Awesome machine because it actually prints, prints automatically everything. So uh, here, enter, I guess, search. Yeah, there you go. Uh, the wire terminal, you can see here, it's a box, pretty much like a printer. And this box literally cuts the wire in the right length, puts the label on. So it actually in, in, inscribes the label right on top of it and does the ferrule. And it prepares it all in a very nice hanger afterwards where you can actually take it and do the landing. Of course, this, once it's done, you go back to your smart wiring and you use the smart wiring to position the wires. So this same exact tool, once you have your wire, you can actually see where it is to be connected and from where to where, where it actually goes. And it's surprising. The length is absolutely perfect. You have no extra length. You don't have to cut off one side. It's absolutely perfect. And, and the most interesting thing, when you think about it, if you no longer have to fabricate the wires, which is two thirds of the wiring, which by the way, wiring is pretty much half of the time of the manufacturing, when you look at it, it's awesome. It's 33% or more that you basically can deliver quicker, which also means you can produce 18 months in 12 months. So whatever you did yesterday with your team, you will increase the delivery by 50%. I haven't done anything other than reorganizing my work. Now you can see here, if you can actually optimize even the wire fabrication, you even have a greater increase in productivity. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Come and see this team from, you know, from Retail and ePlan, and they will show you how that is done. It's, 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 it's awesome what we can say here. Anyways, um, if you like this video, please subscribe. Can't say it enough. And yeah, see you in the next video. This was Roland from ePlan. Thank you.